Good morning, Chairman and the members of the panel. I represent former Hong Kong U team members. Would like to present my knowledge exchange project, titled "Promoting Oral Health of the Non-Institutionalized Older Adults with a Non-Governmental Organization (NGO) in Hong Kong." You can see that this is all my Hong Kong U team members, including Professor Zhu, Dr. Kathleen Leung, Dr. Ali Yu. Dr. Walter Lam, Dr. Demi Dongtip, Dr. Constant Yuan, Dr. Iris Yin, and myself. To start with, I would like to give you a summary of the impact of this KE project. At present, Hong Kong has approximately 1.3 million older adults, aged 65 or above. Their dental treatment need is large. Although the government offers subsidy to the institutionalized older adults, the great majority are the non-institutionalized older adults in Hong Kong. They have no subsidized dental service. Approximately 80% of them have no regular dental care. Therefore, the Hong Kong U Faculty of Dentistry. Has been working with an NGO, which is the Project Concern Hong Kong, to co-organize the mobile dental care service since 2014. In the past 10 years, more than 2,000 older adults received free dental checkup and emergency dental treatment, including extraction. This service was subsequently funded by the Jockey Club Charity Trust till August. 2022. This service has demonstrated the success of Hong Kong U Faculty of Dentistry to empower an NGO to promote oral health of the needy older adults. Now, I would like to talk about the background of the underpinning research. The number of Hong Kong people aged 65 or above. Is expected to reach 2.5 million in 2039, thus becoming one third of the population. Surveys found that most of the older adults suffered from tooth decay and gum disease. Although the government has been supporting various dental care to older adults, non-institutionalized older adults have no subsidized dental service. Untreated dental problems and disease will lower individual quality of life and their well-being. Unfortunately, most of the older adults did not seek regular dental checkup. Untreated oral diseases are significant economic and health burden, affecting millions of people globally. The costly dental treatment and the insufficient dental supply. Or skipped distribution of the dental workforce make it impracticable to control oral disease in disadvantaged communities. Up to now, based on the latest press release of our Hong Kong government, the provision of comprehensive dental care service for the community are mainly shared by the private sector and the non-governmental organizations. Hong Kong U Faculty of Dentistry has been monitoring oral health care for the older adults through conducting epidemiological surveys and the clinical researches for the older adults. These researchers developed effective strategies to improve oral health of older adults through oral health promotion and outreach dental treatment, including mobile dental care. The project concerns Hong Kong. Is an NGO established in 1961. The aim of the organization is to provide dental care to the poor and needy people. The Project Concern Hong Kong has a dental team consisting of dentists and the dental assistants, as well as the free mobile dental vehicles serving different districts in Hong Kong. 
In the past, the dental service provided by the Project Concern Hong Kong was largely secondary dental care, such as dental fillings and extraction. Next, I will talk about the engagement process. The Project Concern Hong Kong has invited Professor Zhu to join as an honorary board director to offer professional assistance and advice to improve their dental service so that it can improve dental health of the people in need and to help in promoting the mobile dental clinic vehicles. By using the deployment of the mobile dental service, the dental care provided has improved the affordability, the accessibility, and the availability to the people in need, particularly for the people with special needs, such as frail older adults or those lived in a deprived communities. Working with the Hong Kong Youth Faculty of Dentistry, the Project Concern organization realized that there is a need for them to provide cost-effective primary oral health care service that focuses on preventing oral disease. Mobile dental vehicles has been proposed as an alternative strategy to supplement the conventional dental services in many regions. They have been used to provide dental care to the underserved populations, homeless people and the migrants. The advance of dental device enables mobile vans to be operated in a self-sufficient manner. The Hong Kong U Faculty of Dentistry has been collaborating with the Project Concern Hong Kong in co-organizing this outreach dental service titled Smiley Action Day Program since 2014. In the early 2014, Hong Kong U Faculty of Dentistry has been partnering with the Project Concern by organizing public dental service program. This program started from 2014 to 2016 as the first phase with the support of the Hong Kong U Knowledge Exchange Impact Project Fund. The program was then named as Smiley Action Day. The outreach dental service focused on preventing and controlling common dental disease, including tooth decay and gum disease. The program promoted oral health among poor and disadvantaged people. In the first two years, annual oral health promotion fairs called Loved and Cleaned Teeth Day were held in seven districts, with the assistance of the district councillor and their team members. The results of the seven events showed that a total of more than 500 older adults attend the fairs, and more than 250 older adults received free dental checkup and emergency treatment, including tooth extraction for the pain relief. This project enhanced the availability and the accessibility of dental care because the venues were held in the people usually gathered with the support of the district councillors. With the Hong Kong U knowledge transfer and the professional advice with the support of the staff as well, the Project Concern Hong Kong has been trained and empowered to implement an effective outreach dental service. Furthermore, the capabilities of the staff of the Project Concern Hong Kong for planning, implementing, and evaluating community service has been strengthened. The program has served older adults residing in 19 neighborhoods in 17 districts. So far, more than 2,000 Hong Kong older adults have benefited from this outreach program by receiving free dental checkup and fluoride therapy. Some older adults have received on-site teeth cleaning to improve their poor gum conditions, and some 
have teeth extraction in order to relieve the pain. Evaluation showed that this service has been well received by the community. Due to the success and benefit for the project implementation in Phase 1, the project concerned Hong Kong as the Hong Kong U Oral Health Partner successfully applied it for a 2.5 million grant from the Hong Kong Jockey Club Charity Trust Fund. The project is named Hong Kong Jockey Club Smiley Action Day, which has been scaled up and expanded to offer service to the older adults in nearly all districts in Hong Kong, with the help of district councillor and the community elderly home centres. In 2016, the Hong Kong Youth Faculty of Dentistry helped Project Concern Hong Kong again to successfully get another 4.6 million grants from the Hong Kong Jockey Club Charity Trust to continue to service till August 2022, this year. The main activities are the oral health education, dental examination, topical fluoride therapy, teeth scaling, and extraction to relieve pain and infection in the mobile dental vehicles. The outreach dental services were held in 19 venues for the older adults in need in different districts in Hong Kong. They reached a large number of older adults and their family members or caretakers. The venue of the events being held were as followed. Tung Chung, Sa Tin, Chi Wen Sen and Xin Shui Wei in 2014-15. Tai Po, Kui Hing, Sam Shui Po in 2015-16. Kun Tong, Chun Moon, Wang Tai Xin, Tim Sa Chui in 2016-17. Chuan Kuan O, Tin Shui Hui, Sa Tin, Kowloon City in the 2017-18. Ak Li Cho, Kennedy Town, Kui Chung, Fen Nen in 2018-19. Sam Shui Po, Kun Tong in 2019-2020. We could not provide service due to COVID in 2020-2021. Tin Shui Hui, Tun Moon, Xi Wen Sen, Ak Li Cho, Tai Po, Shen Shui and Tong Chung in 2021-2022. In summary, the outreach dental service were held in 17 districts in Hong Kong. Only one Chai will not include. In fact, we have planned to go to Van Chai this March, but was unfortunately cancelled due to the fifth wave of COVID. In total, Approximately 2,000 Hong Kong older adults benefit from this program by receiving the dental checkups. Some of them received topical fluoride treatment, the on-site scaling and tooth extraction for pain relief in the mobile dental vehicle. Approximately 5,000 older adults and their family members or caretakers attended the Smiley Action Day Fair from 2014 to 2022. Core achievement. Results from the surveys using the self-reported questionnaire surveys were conducted after the examination. 96% of the participating older adults returned their completed questionnaires. The results showed that the surveys were well received by the older adults with high satisfaction results. Almost all of them were satisfied or very satisfied with the program. In addition, the service raised the dental knowledge and awareness of the older adults and their family members or the caretakers. Approximately 83% of them reported that the program was helpful or very helpful in raising their dental health knowledge and 90% of them reported that it's increased the awareness towards their dental health. Our dental students, led by the faculty staff, empower Project Concern Hong Kong to provide voluntary dental service in the daycare elderly center, 
and the mobile dental van service. Dental students gained experience from the community service, which could develop a sense of social responsibility and a heart to giving back to the needy group of a lifelong development in their career. Our team had published extensively during the 2018 to 2021 regarding the oral health and dental care for the older adults, such as one article on the oral health care of older adults in Hong Kong. One article is about common medical and dental problems of older adults. One article is about oral health care for the elderly people with or without Alzheimer's disease. Another article is about the oral health status for Chinese elderly people with or without dementia. One article about oral health care in Hong Kong and the utilizations of a mobile dental vehicle for the health care in the rural areas. This slide showed that the average dental service taken place in Hong Kong Neighborhood Center for the Senior Citizens in last year October. All the participants had to be enrolled to the elderly center in advance, so the, dis the designated time will be given to each participant to attend from their time slot. So this would prevent from all the participants together in the same place at the same time. After they arrive to the center, they will be firstly to conduct a simple survey on the oral health knowledge and their oral health habits. They were then given an oral examination by our dental student. They will be informed of the results after dental screening. Also, the dental student can give them some suggestions uh, where to follow up their oral health problems. For those older adults that need of on-site scaling or teeth extraction for the pain relief, they will attend the mobile dental vehicle which has parked nearby to the elderly center to provide free service to them. All the participants will receive oral health education, such as oral hygiene instruction on how to take care of their teeth or oral conditions. Also, a question and answer section will allow some time for them to ask questions. Before they leave the center, they will be provided with a self-conducted questionnaire to collect the satisfaction survey. The result come back usually is in very good feedback. This slide shows the sources to corroborate the impact, including local news, YouTube videos, the messages, videos, in the Hong Kong U Faculty of Dentistry website and the Project Concern Hong Kong website. Before the end of the presentation, I would like to thank you for all the team members, including all the participated dental students, provide the free dental service to the elderly. And thanks for Vivian Hollis, manager from the Hong Kong U Faculty, to support the project. And also, a uh, special thanks to Ms. Chen and Wendy from the Project Concern Hong Kong, who give a lot of support in collaboration with Hong Kong U Faculty of Dentistry. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>